The Migration of Darkness. The migration of darkness bled into our infancy and did not cease until, until a great light impressed itself upon and within us. The joy of childhood seeped to confusion. The ideas and methods of the world pushed aside innocence. For millennia, thinkers have been mystified by this permeating illness, ever seeking natural cause or, if supernatural, deemed it occult. Thus have these fallacies, sorceries, and delusions occupied our mind and spirit. To some will come the great light, which is a person, and unto you we do not migrate, but immediately are lifted up and out of the world, our spirit, taken to another. Our misinnocence yet clings to us as we live two worlds. Between them lies the hope and certainty of our rescue, and when all which truly, truly is appears, our hope dissolves, no longer necessary, for unreality becomes reality. Lightweight bits of darkness flock together and migrate to our spirit, as yet unvisited by you. Divine friend of man, we whom you command, command us to love you, and we shall love you. Other else are we lost, and like the paralytic we feel the healing shock of your power. For little have we experienced the supernatural. And lo, a supernatural person guiding all that is. We, called after Christ, see the sense of historical manifestation of all that was decreed to be, and this a consciousness of all men, in our sins, smitten by a sense of the wrath of God impending over us. As this unfolds to us like a parchment scroll which was written and which did occur, we turn in faith to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and who came down to us. You, the propitiation of, for our sins, appeasing God, conciliating the lives of men amongst each other, through whose blood and righteous life are made acceptable to God, your Father, and to be received into the communion of your ecclesia, the called out, called from this life to another. By the teaching of Jesus, we have learned to know God as you really are, and by your example, been led into a life of faithful trust in God. By the inspiration of your inner life, dimly discerned through the obscuring legends which have grown up about you. We are quickened to a religious hope. We are entering ancient prophetic claims that have never been recognized as a world movement of us who have been redeemed from our sins by the blood of Jesus Christ. For it is this that was decreed in eternity. Already in our hearts we hear the drum and trumpet sounds of the great jubilation of the apocalypse, which ends the world and begins for us another, and which will never end. <laughs>